Hey, I'm Alec, and today I'm going to talk about a 3D gloop. The 3D Gloop was a Kickstarter project that was successfully funded and they were able to ship out to all of their backers within the deadline. And what they've got going is really cool. So they have a couple different formulas and a couple different quantities that you can get this in. So you have some that are designed for PLA, some for ABS, they're working on PETG. They have this which has a brush on the cap just like some rubber cement cans or they have some where it's in a syringe so you can apply a little more precisely. They have big cans, they're working on a spray version because this stuff is pretty close to all purpose. So I've used this as a bed adhesive so you just take out the brush, brush it on in a light layer, print on top of it and it sticks really well. Their ABS formula is especially good at adhesion. They've shown it printing ABS on a glass bed without any heat and the ABS didn't warp at all. Now they do have a disclaimer that if you print a tall part, there is still the chance that because it's just room temperature, you may get layer separation, but for adhesion, this stuff works. Now this stuff isn't just a bed adhesive, it's also a print adhesive. I had these two fills sitting on my desk yesterday and just put a little bit on each of their feet, squished them together and then left them overnight. And now, I don't think I could break these two apart. I'm pretty sure this is one fill now. Dylan, we're gonna break this right now, come here. <laughs> I don't think he's breaking. Now the brush formula, while it does work, is kind of thick. So what you can find happening is that the outer surface will get a little gummy as you're applying it. And by the time you try to apply more, it's just kind of gumming up and not smoothing. So they're working on a spray formula to apply it uniformly. You don't have to touch it and worry about ruining the surface on the print. Now for me, what makes 3D Gloop really special is that while there have been chemicals that people have tested and found work pretty well at smoothing out PLA, there's either some level of caution that needs to be used because it's really caustic or has a potential for explosive or something. It's not something you readily see is just you can go buy it and just apply it to your prints, especially in California. I'm pretty sure the most commonly used chemical to actually smooth out PLA that people test with, um, pretty sure that's just not available. So this is a good alternative if you're in California or any of the other states where you just don't have access to those sort of chemicals. I'm really excited to incorporate 3D Gloop into my 3D printing workflow because up until now I've used super glue, which does okay with strength, but it just adheres the two parts together. This chemically bonds them basically into one part, which makes it a lot stronger and a lot more durable in the long run. So if you want to get your bottle of 3D Gloop, go to matterhackers.com. <laughs> 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 Good thing I got a wallet right here. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like that, give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all the big builds, how to's, and troubleshooting guides I'll be working on. And don't forget, check out matterhackers.com to explore everything 3D printing and to join the community.